and we have the best person to explain all of this to us, the Frank B. Baird, Jr. Professor of Science at Harvard University Center for Astrophysics, Dr. Avi Loeb. Doctor, great to have you with us. Really intriguing stuff here. What makes this object so unusual, and why is it generating such debate within the scientific community? In a stunning and deeply unsettling development, Official sources within NASA have released the first ever close approach images of the interstellar object 3I Atlas, captured by Mars orbiting probes. The release comes amidst a firestorm of controversy and conflicting data regarding the object's trajectory, which appears to have been violently altered during its perilous passage around the sun. This event was marked by a series of colossal solar explosions, coronal mass ejections, CMEs, of a magnitude rarely seen that were directed squarely at the enigmatic visitor. The long-awaited images, while groundbreaking, are far from clear, revealing a tantalizingly ambiguous and complex structure that only deepens the mystery and intensifies the urgent questions about the object's origin and intent. The release of this visual evidence can only be seen as a direct response to a burgeoning crisis of information. Just days ago, on October 21, 2025, the independent observation group Earth Exists issued an alarming alert, claiming their tracking data showed 3i Atlas had deviated from its officially predicted path by an incredible 1.1 million kilometers. This displacement, nearly three times the Earth-Moon distance, was not a lag but a forward leap in its trajectory, suggesting a powerful sideways thrust that cannot be explained by gravity. This bombshell report, pointing to a deliberate maneuver, was almost immediately contradicted by an amateur astronomer's painstaking analysis of solar coronagraph imagery, which purported to show the object was, in fact, still precisely on its JPL-predicted course. This data war has left the world in a state of dangerous uncertainty, with two reputable sources offering diametrically opposed realities about the object's location. Now, as our star's fury subsides, the central, terrifying question hangs in the balance. Has the orbit of this interstellar traveler been changed? Was it pushed by the sun's explosive force? Or did it execute a maneuver of its own, under the cover of the celestial chaos it may have provoked? The timing of NASA's image release, long after they were taken, and only in the wake of public data disputes, coupled with the unprecedented global monitoring campaign launched by the UN-endorsed International Asteroid Warning Network, paints a picture not of scientific discovery, but of a tightly controlled crisis. We are no longer passive observers of a cosmic curiosity. We are witnesses to a high-stakes event where the official narrative is fracturing under the weight of anomalous data, forcing authorities to reveal their hand as an object of inexplicable power charts a new course through our solar system. The passage of 3I Atlas through the sun's corona was anything but quiet. It was a baptism by fire on a scale that defies comprehension. As the object entered the period of superior conjunction, where it was masked from Earth's view by the sun, our star erupted with a sequence of focused and monumentally violent explosions. Geoscientist Stefan Burns confirmed the event's severity. We saw three big coronal mass ejections launch back to back to back directly to 3I Atlas. One of these blasts was among the largest recorded for this entire solar cycle. To any conventional analysis, it would appear that the object was simply caught in the crossfire of a temperamental star. However, a more radical and compelling hypothesis has taken hold, one that recasts 3I Atlas not as a victim, but as the provocateur. This theory is grounded in the fundamental forces of the universe. While gravity governs the slow, predictable dance of planets, electromagnetism is a force 10 to the 36th times more powerful. 3I Atlas is not a simple rock. It is a colossal object, estimated to be up to 50 kilometers in diameter, surrounded by a complex and electromagnetically active plasma cloud, or coma. As this massive entity plunged through the intricate magnetic and electrical circuits of the inner solar system, it may have caused a catastrophic disturbance, effectively short-circuiting the sun. This action would have destabilized the sunspots on the star's far side, forcing them to violently erupt in the CMEs we observed. If this hypothesis is correct, the implications are staggering. 
it means this interstellar visitor is not a passive celestial body, but a dynamic and powerful force capable of directly influencing the behavior of our star. The encounter was not an accident, it was a dialogue of immense energies. The CMEs, carrying billions of tons of magnetized plasma, were not a random threat, but a direct response to the intruder's presence. This reframes the entire question of the object's potential orbit change. Was it pushed off course by solar explosions it had a hand in creating? Or, in a far more advanced scenario, did it use the immense energy of the solar wind and CMEs to perform a complex braking or slingshot maneuver, an act of cosmic sailing on a scale beyond our technological imagination? The violent solar encounter has transformed from a scientific curiosity into the scene of a potential motive act, leaving the world desperately awaiting confirmation of where exactly the object will go next. The chaotic events in the sun's corona are mirrored by an equally chaotic information environment here on Earth. The behavior of our planet's most advanced space and defense agencies has been a study in contradiction, breeding an atmosphere of deep suspicion. For weeks, a central point of contention has been NASA's refusal to release the primary data set on 3i Atlas, captured during its close flyby of Mars on October 2, 2025. The planet is home to a fleet of advanced orbiters whose instruments are far superior to Earth-based telescopes. They were perfectly positioned to capture definitive, high-resolution imagery that could potentially reveal the object's precise shape, surface features, and composition. Yet this invaluable data, our best ever look at an interstellar object, was withheld. The silence from NASA and JPL stands in stark contrast to the unprecedented actions of the world's planetary defense authorities. The International Asteroid Warning Network, an organization sanctioned by the United Nations, broke all precedent by announcing a formal, worldwide campaign to monitor 3i Atlas from late November 2025 to January 2026. This is not a scientific research project, it is a planetary defense drill. IAWN pointedly ignored the previous two interstellar visitors, Oumuamua and Borisov. The decision to mobilize hundreds of professional and amateur telescopes for this specific object serves as a global klaxon horn, an admission from the highest levels that 3i Atlas represents a unique and unpredictable variable. This mobilization was directly preceded by a white paper submitted to the UN by a team including Harvard's Avi Loeb, which explicitly advocated for monitoring such objects as potential black swan events, including the possibility of them carrying alien technology. This creates a deeply troubling paradox. Why would our primary space agency, NASA, withhold its most crucial high-resolution data, effectively keeping the public in the dark, while the planet's official warning network is simultaneously telling every astronomer to point their telescopes at it with utmost urgency? The logical conclusion is that a level of threat or uncertainty has been identified that requires a global monitoring effort, but the specific details, potentially revealed in the Mars images, are deemed too sensitive for public release. It suggests a protocol is in motion, one where information is being managed and a threat is being assessed behind a veil of official secrecy. The intense scrutiny and high-level alerts surrounding 3i Atlas are not born of paranoia, but are a direct result of an accumulation of deeply anomalous data points. These eight surprising qualities, as codified by Avi Loeb, paint a portrait of an object that defies every category we have. Each is a statistical improbability. Together, they form a case for an object so strange that a natural origin is the most fantastical explanation of all. A precision trajectory. Our solar system's planets orbit on a flat plane called the ecliptic. Objects from our own distant Oort cloud can arrive from any random angle. 3i Atlas, a visitor from another star, arrived on a path aligned almost perfectly with this plane to within five degrees. The statistical likelihood of a random interstellar wanderer choosing this specific, orderly pathway is just 0.2%. It's less like a random drifter and more like a vehicle merging flawlessly into highway traffic. The Defiant Anti-Tail For two months, July-August 2025, the object displayed a brilliant, powerful jet of material spewing directly towards the sun. 
This violates the fundamental laws of solar physics, which dictate that solar wind and radiation pressure always push material away. While a later transition to a conventional tail was observed, the initial anti-tail remains a signature event. Explanations range from a novel form of ice sublimation to a techno-signature, the signature of a craft using a directed thrust to break and alter its course. A true titan, 3 i Atlas is a monster. Its nucleus is estimated to be up to a million times more massive than Oumuamua and a thousand times more massive than 2 i Borisov. It is also moving faster than both predecessors. The probability of an object of this colossal size and high velocity arriving in our system from interstellar space is calculated to be less than 0.1%. It is the largest, fastest interstellar visitor we have ever seen by a staggering margin. A meticulously timed grand tour. The object's arrival was so exquisitely timed that its trajectory allowed for close observational passes of Mars, Venus, and Jupiter. Its perihelion, the closest and most scientifically revealing pass of the Sun, was timed to occur precisely when the object was in superior conjunction, making it completely invisible from Earth's perspective. The chance of this convenient celestial alignment, masking it at its most critical moment while allowing for planetary flybys, is just 0.005%. An industrial chemical signature. Our scientific instruments have tasted the gas coming off 3i Atlas, and its composition is alien. It has a much higher ratio of nickel to iron than is found in nature, a ratio more commonly seen in industrially produced alloys. Its nickel to cyanide ratio is orders of magnitude larger than that of any of the thousands of comets we have cataloged. Furthermore, it is profoundly water poor, with only 4% water content. This profile has less than a 1% chance of being natural. The pre-maneuver mass dump. Just before it disappeared behind the sun, 3i Atlas was observed to have a massive, sudden eruption of water. If the object were an artificial craft preparing for a significant orbital maneuver, shedding as much excess mass as possible, like heavy water reserves, would be a logical and necessary preliminary step. An unprecedented reflection. The way light reflects off the object is profoundly strange. It exhibits an extreme negative polarization, a quality that has never been seen in any comet and has a less than 1% probability of occurring. This suggests its surface is made of a material or has a texture that is completely foreign to our solar system. The echo of the wow signal. In what could be a chilling cosmic coincidence, 3 i Atlas arrived from a direction in the sky that aligns almost perfectly with the origin of the 1977 wow signal. That 72-second radio burst remains the single most compelling candidate for an artificial extraterrestrial broadcast ever detected. The probability of the object's trajectory aligning with this historic signal by chance is only 6%. It feels like an answer to a message we never knew we sent. The newly released NASA images from the Mars flyby have finally given us a face to put to this litany of anomalies. The images, composites of multiple instrument readings, show an object that is definitively not a simple spherical body. It is distinctly elongated, though not as extreme as the cigar shape hypothesized for Oumuamua. Its surface is mottled with areas of wildly varying reflectivity, which could account for the bizarre light polarization measurements. Crucially, the resolution is just high enough to confirm the presence of what appear to be specific localized hotspots from which gas is being vented, the source of its unusual jets but deliberately too low to determine if these are natural fissures or engineered thrusters. The most striking feature is the object's overall structure. It does not appear to be a single solid monolith. Instead, it seems to be a complex agglomeration of components, a tightly packed collection of smaller bodies or a central primary body with other smaller objects in close proximity. This complex morphology opens up a Pandora's box of possibilities, is it a fractal comet of a type we've never seen? Or is it an artificial structure, a mothership with attendant craft, or a piece of technology with visible external modules? NASA's accompanying statements are a masterclass in scientific ambiguity. They confirm the object's immense size and complex nature, 
but emphasize that nothing in the data contradicts a natural origin, albeit one of a type previously unknown to science. The release feels less like a full disclosure and more like a calculated move in the ongoing information war. The images are a concession, forced by public pressure and conflicting data, but they are curated to be inconclusive. They provide just enough detail to confirm the object's strangeness while offering plausible deniability for any single damning piece of evidence of artificiality. They are a puzzle, not an answer. With the solar encounter concluded and the first ambiguous images now public, we are left at an existential crossroads. 3i Atlas has forced a convergence of our greatest hopes and deepest fears. The conflicting trajectory data must be reconciled, as the difference between the Earth exists location and the JPL prediction is the difference between a natural path and an intelligently controlled one. The solar explosions have proven that, at a minimum, the object has a profound and violent effect on our star, and may have been instrumental in altering its own course. The official secrecy, followed by a reluctant and curated data release, confirms that governments are treating this as far more than a scientific curiosity. Two primary scenarios lie before us, both world-altering. The first is that the 3i Atlas is a natural object, but one so radically different from anything in our experience that its study will ignite a revolution in astrophysics. It would be a black swan that forces us to rewrite the textbooks on planetary formation, solar physics, and the composition of matter from other star systems. The second and far more profound possibility is that the eight anomalies, the solar interaction, the trajectory discrepancy, and the complex structure seen in the new images are all signposts pointing to the truth that it is not natural. If 3i Atlas is an artificial probe, a derelict vessel, or something more active, then humanity has been thrust into a first contact scenario without a script. Its every action would need to be reevaluated as a potential communication, a threat, or a prelude to an unknown agenda. The closest approach to Earth, scheduled for December 19, 2025, is no longer just a date for scientific observation. It is a deadline. It is the moment when this interstellar enigma will be at its nearest and perhaps its clearest. The coming weeks are critical. The future of our understanding of the universe, and perhaps our future within it, is being written now, in real time, by the path of a silent, powerful, and utterly alien visitor from the stars.